everyone, it's Coupon Mama Jess from MyMilitarySavings.com and I'm coming to you today with really awesome information about couponing at the commissary. Now, if you're new to the commissary or you're new to couponing, you need to click that link above and read over the commissary coupon policy. There's some really great information there for anybody new to the commissary, anybody new to couponing. There's gonna be a lot of questions and answers right there for you. So you don't have to wonder, can I do this? Can I do that? Can, can I use this? Can I use that? It's gonna tell you right there. So before I let you go, I wanna hit on two quick things. One, coupon stacking. Can you do it at the commissary? Unfortunately, you cannot. So those nice little military only coupons or the commissary reward coupons, those are manufacturer coupons. Per the policy, you can only use one coupon per item purchase. So while you're walking around the commissary, be on the lookout for these bad boys. Not only is it gonna save you money from not having to buy newspapers or use paper and ink, but it's gonna save you tremendously. So use them, they're there for you to use. Next, coupon overage. Can you have coupon overage at the commissary? Per the policy, yes you can. You will get face value of your coupon as long as it permits. Keyword, permits. Look at that fine print on the coupon. Does it say no cash back? Does it say no overage? If it doesn't, you're gonna get that cash back. You're gonna get up to $24.99 in cold hard cash. Anything over that, you're gonna get in the form of a gift card. How awesome is that? So you got groceries you don't have coupons for? Use that overage to pay for those groceries. Walk out of there saving huge. I love my coupon overage. So be on the lookout for that. And as I said, if you have not read over the coupon policy, if you're not up to date with it, click that link above. Click it, print it, read it, love it, and love to coupon.